trippy, 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 trippy. Oh my God, it's a found footage movie in the bathroom. Ah. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Davy J Today. I am your host, Davy J, and today we are going to talk a little bit about tech. Look at this bad boy behind me here. That's what we're going to be talking about, a little bit about Betamax and CED. Davy, 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 Capacitance Electronic Disc System, created by RCA, of course, and Betamax, made by Sony, ultimately. Both failed. One actually managed to completely bankrupt an entire legacy of the company of RCA, which is just a shame. What a great company, the Radio Corporation of America. Wow, what a legacy they had in this country. And now they are simply no more than a series of letters that they just throw on stereos and a DVD player here and there. I don't even remember who owns RCA now, but they simply own the name. It is no longer Radio Corporation of America. Very sad. However, about 30 years or so later, CEDs are having a renaissance, a resurgence in pop culture. So nerds like me who love physical media are collecting these CEDs. And if you take a look right over here, um, this is just part of my collection, a mixture of vi some vinyls, laser discs, and CEDs. Oh, good collection, good collection, good collection. So, what we're going to do today, I'm going to just do a quick demo, and I think what we will do, ultimately, is go ahead and throw in a CED, throw in a beta tape, and just show you kind of how they work. There is more of the laser disc collection and vinyl collection. Oh, hi, little fishies. Hi, little fishies. These are my cichlids. Come on, little fishies. Go live inside your house, fish. Anyways, they're always hanging out, watching movies with me. And this is kind of my old tech. I love how I have it organized. This is kind of my new stuff. This is my 4K TV. I got the PS4, the nice uh, 7.1 surround. Don't have Atmos surround, but... Uh, you know, I got all my modern stuff on this side, and then boom, you kind of switch it over here. And we're going old school. This thing is 1986. This is a Dementia RCA television setup. This was considered top of the line, actually, in 1986. And we're going to take a peek at this. Look at how cool this is. Okay, so we got the 26-inch Dementia RCA Dementia CRT. But you'll notice a little bit of a sheen and a shine to this, and that's because there are screws right here and right here, and what that is, is a cover. It's a glass cover covering the actual tube. I believe the reason for this is because they didn't want anybody to have to have the static go by when they clean off the TV, and they didn't want that popping to happen, so rather than have you clean off the actual tube and get that static and popping that comes with that, They'd rather just have you clean the nice glass cover, and so that's what that is. So when I got this about three weeks ago, the glass cover had fallen off, so I had to kind of find some custom screws and put it back on, but it is really, really kind of nifty. Um, then we have the matching Dementia floor speakers, and these things are super badass. You can kind of see below the er, behind the netting there. Uh, these things look really cool. Maybe I'll go ahead and kind of show you what they look like. Look at this awesome remote, by the way. Check this out. How cool is that remote? Um, check this out. This is so pretty. The Dementia floor speakers. I don't even know what this is, but hey, freaking awesome. There's the Dementia logo. RCA made some of the best uh, consumer electronics in the 1970s and 80s. I also have, and the VCR doesn't work, but I have VCR down here that came with the system. This all matches, by the way. And then I have an audio video receiver on the top here. Kind of different than the ones we see today. It still has the light up display. I don't even know if you call it an LED display. <laughs> but yeah, it's got the light up display. And 
this right here is just a tuner, just an AM FM tuner. Whereas later they just kind of built it in to the receivers. So yeah, but with the dementia set up, uh, the tuner is its own cool machine, which is awesome. By the way, this all came together in one set. So when you went into the electronics store back in the 1980s, you got the whole setup, including this really cool uh, stand and the cabinet and everything. You got the whole works. Hopefully you're not feeling sick like this. So I'm gonna do my best not to wave it around and stuff. What you're looking at now is the CD player on the bottom and the Sony Betamax player on the top. This thing's pretty nifty, so let's take a peek at it. I'm not gonna go too in depth. That's just a switcher because it's such a pain going behind this thing and plugging and unplugging. Uh, this is a Betamax player. Um, as you can see, it's already on. Um, let me see here. Turn it off and on. This is the SL, the Sony SL HF 400. So the Sony SL Hi-Fi 400. It's a Super Betamax Hi-Fi player. So I mean, for the time, it was like a mid-tier setup, but I love this machine. It works really well for 2021. Most of them don't even work anymore. Um, that is if your belts even survive Let's see Okay, so let's go ahead and pop on the old dementia TV Check this out, okay oh, I gotta put on the uh, Put on the receiver so we can get sound okay. As you can see we have what well, looks like a VHS, but this is not a VHS. This is a beta tape and this, of course, is The Shining, and it has one window compared to VHS, where it has two, and it's a little bit smaller. So let's check out The Shining. Let's pop it in here. It's so hard doing this, holding the camera in one hand and <laughs> using my left hand here. Okay, let's put it in. Okay. I don't know if I want sound, because I don't want to get it copywritten. Okay. This tape isn't the best uh, copy in the world of The Shining, but it'll do. Um... But yeah, check it out. Um, yeah, it doesn't do it justice because, like I said, this isn't the best tape. But I love it. You can see the audio um, come up here. You can see the decibels. It's just kind of a fun thing that most uh, digital media players do not have any longer. So yeah, that's The Shining, and that's called Betamax. Let's go ahead and eject that thing. Oh, turn the power off. Let's eject it. Now let's put in the CD. Considering the fact that we were just watching The Shining, let's stay in the same vein and do some horror. This is what's called a CED. RCA made these in the mid 1980s. We're gonna pop this in the CED player. So how do we do it? We go boom, give it some power. And this is, if you didn't know already, this is video on vinyl. And boy, is this difficult I'm holding the camera. In. This has that auto load system. Boom. Grab the massive remote. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like we got some picture. That's probably a good thing we don't have any sound, but that's the old school setup and i'm really proud of it and i just kind of if you appreciate it for what it is you'd probably enjoy it as much as i do uh a good friend of mine gave me some really good advice when it comes to old tech like this he said um well he was explaining to me how he had an older setup like this an older entertainment system and i was like well, what's the quality like? Do you like it? And he's like, if you appreciate it for what it is, you're going to really love it and you're going to learn to live with it. And I think you'll really enjoy it as long as you appreciate it for what it is. And that was some good advice. And I love this for what it is. And it's obviously not the greatest picture quality considering what we're used to 
in 2021, but it does have some amazing audio potential. And boy, does this thing bang, man. This thing, like when you're watching a movie, um, granted it doesn't surround you, but these floor speakers are boom, boom. I mean, they pound, man, they really hit. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. And I just kind of wanted to show you my tech, a little bit of my collection, and just kind of what I watch my old stuff on. Hey everybody, this is Davey. I am just taking this time out to say thank you so much for watching my videos, subscribing, and generally just being interested in what I have to say. So thank you so much for that. I hope you continue to enjoy my channel. And please subscribe, comment, like, do whatever you can to support this small and independent channel. I do all the work myself. I have a blast doing it, but it's always good to hear back from people. Good feedback, positive and negative feedback. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and take care. We'll see you in the next video.